Well, it's the last day for the 59th annual Ann Arbor Art Fair, one of the largest outdoor art fairs in the nation. We've got 1,000 artists taking part in the event every year, spanning about 30 blocks. Larry Spruill in the middle of it all this morning on a Sunday morning. Hi, Larry. Good morning, Sean and Priya. In the middle of this beautiful artwork, indeed, a thousand artists, one lucky artist I am able to talk to is Sarah. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, Larry. Thank you for having me. Thank you. We got each other's names right. Yes. <laughs> Step one. Step one, heavy texture art. What is that? So I've created a unique technique I call heavy textured pointillism. It's a modern take on classical pointillism, painting dot by dot. How long does that take? It has to be very time consuming, but yes. yet very detailed at the same time. Yes, sir. So the close up piece that we're seeing right now took probably around 90 to 100 hours. Wow. Some of my smaller work are three to five and some of my very wallet friendly work can take no more than about an hour. So it really ranges on the size of the piece, Larry. Your most popular selling art, which ones are those? Probably my earthly series, Larry, and that would be the free flowing, almost like ocean wave looking pieces okay. on the left wall. So the to your left, wall. Larry. So you're trying to tell me that Mr. Octopus is not the most popular style. This is really cool right here. Thank you. So <laughs> most of my paintings are ladies, but Hank's my boy. And he's popular from a, oh my goodness, can you check this out perspective, but he has yet to find a home. It catches your eye. Yes, he does. Now you have been painting for how long? Uh, three years, and I invented this unique technique um, in September of 2016, so about two years now. Wow, but you have an interesting background. You went from being a lawyer to now an artist. How does that transition work? So I get asked that actually kind of frequently <laughs> because most lawyers don't make that switch, but I think in a way it translates beautifully. Both you have to make a compelling argument, you have to captivate your audience. So now I've made the professional switch and I've just switched mediums. Wow, one last question for you. So is there like a, um, a balance or like a, a, like a secret ingredient that kind of goes behind these different paintings? You better believe it, Larry, <laughs> and I keep that locked so I can be unique for myself and my collectors. That's the way, the great way to end the interview. Thank you so much for joining us, Sarah. If you want to bring your family down here, you can. We are in Ann Arbor at the most popular art fair in history. I'm going to go ahead on record and say that. But we're here on the final day from noon to 6 p.m. here at State and South University in Ann Arbor, the largest juried art fair in the country, more than 1,000 artists goes over 30 blocks. It's huge. It's free to the public. You have vendors, music, food, and great art.